हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल सिवी कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रेंड्स टू आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट बिल्डिंग बायलोज वी नो दैट द बिल्डिंग बायलोज आर वेरी असेंटियल फॉर द सिविल इंजीनियर राइट बिल्डिंग बायलोज नथिंग बट दे आर द रेगुलेटिंग लॉज फॉर अ बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन एज अ सिविल इंजीनियर वी मस्ट नो अबाउट दिस बिल्डिंग बायलोज सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट सम ऑफ द बिल्डिंग बायलोज यू कैन सी दैट दिस आर दी सम इम्पोर्टेंट बिल्डिंग बायलोज यू कैन सी द इन दिस लिस्ट फ्रॉम दिस लिस्ट आई एम जस्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग इन दिस वीडियो वन और टू राइट इन अपम वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन अदर सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ दैट वीडियोज so in this video i am going to explain uh, the first building bylaw that is the minimum plot size and building frontage what are the minimum plot size and what should be the uh, minimum frontage you should have to be keep uh, from the road right uh, so it is the margin to be left beyond the extreme edge of road to front of the building so it is the margin that we have to uh, left beyond right from the extreme edge this is the extreme edge of road right and to, uh, to the uh, front line of building right so this is frontage margin right this margin is frontage margin we have to keep uh, this margin while constructing a building you cannot construct the building here you have to keep the frontage margin then you have to start your building construction so um so i i have some uh, data that uh, type of residential building uh, plot size and frontage ma margin as per building bylaws so for detached building uh, area about plot size about 200 meter square the frontage should be uh, about 12 meter right for the building uh, detached building if your area is more than 250 mm uh, 50 meter square then you have to keep this margin more than 12 meter right similarly for row house type building area above 50 to 125 meter square 50 to 125 meter square you have to keep the margin 4.5 meter to 8 meter right so for the uh, row house type building uh, we have to keep 4.5 to 8 meter this frontage margin right this uh, this is about minimum plot size and building for frontage right so these are the some rules right i just explaining the one or two important uh, the buildings uh, right then we come up to the open face so open face is what the open face are the essential for uh, essential for catering the natural lighting and ventilation in room right we need the uh, open space around the building or in the front that we put the verandas and balconies right these are the open space uh, from that uh, we uh, cater the natural light and ventilation so this open space also essential and we made uh, we have the bylaws for that uh, keeping the open space so uh, for if you uh, this is your building right this is your building line right now this is your building line right in this case this is your building line in this case this is your building line so from building line you have to also keep some open space so you will cater some natural lighting and ventilation right so this is your frontage margin and this is your open space and this is your um, uh, road right so your uh, depending upon the road width right depending upon the road width your open space will be change right so i have one table to show you how this margin uh, of open space will change according to the width of road width of road means this right so up to 7.5 meter road if your road width is 7.5 your open space will be 1.5 meter right and 75 to 18 meter your open space will be uh, must be 3 meter then 18 to 30 meter road your open space will be 4.5 meter then above 30 meter road your open space will be 6 meter right so this data uh, is only for the height up to 7 meter means two story you can say that two story building so uh, consider this data for only the so 7 meter height of building so this is the criteria or uh, bylaws for the open space so we move up to the uh, other point right uh, okay now um, we come up to the uh, side and rear open space for a different height of building right so also for catering the natural light and ventilation we need to be uh, have the side and uh, rear open uh, space so according to the uh, building height uh, the uh, building bylaws uh, specified the some uh, distance to be left around the uh, back side and side of the building so uh, 
it will like uh, it will be like you if you are having the building like this right you you having this uh, so i just completed this uh, frontage frontage and open space right uh, this is frontage margin and this is road now you have to also keep the margin around the building if this is your plot you have to also keep this is side margin this is side and this is rear margin right so for rule for this margin so if you want for a building height you if your building height is a 10 meter you have to keep the side distance of means three story building you have to keep this side, the side distance or rear distance three meter for 15 meter you have to five meter and above 53 meter you have to keep the 16 meter side margin right so it will be more than um, uh, 10 story or uh, more than 15 story building right it will be more than 15 story building you have to keep the side distance 16 meter right so this is the bylaws for the keeping the side and rear open space now uh, we come up to the point that is a minimum standard dimension of building element right minimum standard dimension of building element so we see that area limitation right what is, what is the area limitation right what is the construction area you can limit and what is the number of uh, story you can uh, construct on your plot so uh, this limited uh, this uh, area limitation is achieved by the floor area ratio right area limitation is achieved by the floor area ratio so what is the floor area ratio total cover area of all floor divided by plot area that is your FAR so FIR, FAR is a um, maybe variable from the uh, area to area, municipal, at, munis, uh, municipal corporation to municipal corporation, city to city. So uh, the, it is about 1 to 2 for residential building. It is uh, nearly 1 to 2 for a residential building and uh, paying the some extra amount you can increase your FIR in your area. right? So FIR is the restrict the height of a building and number of story. F, what the FIR do? FIR restrict the height of building and numbers of story so uh, how uh, just I'm just going to explain to you that how this FIR work for uh, restricting the uh, height of a building and numbers of story so for example we just took the area float area of 15 by 20 15 by 20 so it is built up area super built up area will be 600 meters square right so yeah, and and we consider the FIR in this area is 2 uh, then maximum built up area of all floor can be put on the plot there is a 600 meter square right so if cover area on the ground is 150 mm square right if cover in cover on the ground right uh, if mm, the ground floor uh, area means this ground floor uh, plot area is 150 meter square um, uh, 150 meter square right so you can only construct the so total built up area is right total cover area means the 150 150 150 150 this will be equal to 600 and divided by uh, divided by the plot area so we have the plot area 150 ground floor plot area is the 150 so i can construct the four store uh, four numbers of story but if right but uh, suppose i have the ground floor area 100 meters square right i have the ground floor area 100 meters square means this ground floor area is 100 meters square so i can construct these six stories right so as you uh, uh, limit the area your height increase and as, as you uh, uh, increase the your uh, plot area your uh, height decrease right so this is the uh, this uh, how this is how you can use uh, that uh, your fir right so this is simple method right so you cater this uh, kind of stuffs so in the uh, upcoming video i will show explain you some other building bylaws uh, considering this uh, bylaws so keep for watching my video subscribe my channel for upcoming videos thank you for watching my video please subscribe my channel cv concept